broke that fucking cake. You almost broke that fucking cake. Okay, but did I? Croissant. Orange juice. What is this? Chilaquiles. Hey. Good morning, sunshine. Day three. Day four in Cabo. We ordered a food service right now, as you guys just saw. And we're about to eat the goods. I got some of that bomb ass you chilaquiles. Almost the plate. All right, we ate breakfast. Now it is time to start getting ready for the day. Today's itinerary is, well, we already ate breakfast. We're gonna go on a clear boat tour. The person we booked the tour with gave us a lot of information that doesn't really match with what the receipt says. So we will figure out what we end up doing, but for sure we're going on a clear boat and supposedly we have some free time to do extra activities. What those activities will be, I do not know, but I'm gonna get ready right now and I think I'm gonna do something mm, natural, but not as natural as I have been doing. All right, my makeup is done. I I use different products today and I feel like it looks so pale like for the concealer. I think the concealer didn't really fit me right today. I'm gonna put like some more loose powder on top so that I'm not like super oily because I can already like tell. But our AC hadn't been working all night. I was like sweating all night and the guy just came and fixed it and it already feels fresh in here. This is today's OOTD. I have this dress from Target. That hat is also from Target I believe. And then this little tote that I'm gonna be using is from Shein for shoes. I think I'm gonna be using these chanclas. I could also use those black ones but yeah i'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna leave excursion starts at 1 but we're gonna leave at 11 40 it's already like 11 20 so let's get ready and meet the girls at the lobby i didn't end up filming at the lobby because we literally almost got left because our freaking hotel staff didn't let the driver know we were there we were just standing like dumbasses there and we basically made it like by a hair natalie ran towards it and he stopped but we're on our way now right, we're at location number two for tequila tasting i mean we got a little sticker and here we are the tequila tasting is right here but y'all know i don't drink so we're just gonna explore while we wait mr skeleton man also our driver is still really mad at us these baddies are gonna drink for sure <laughs> i left the girls tequila tasting and i'm out here shopping i think i'm gonna take some of these for my parents probably let's see which one is the cutest one oh this one los carlos i'm taking that one and i'm gonna do this one this blue one too cute i'm gonna keep my stuff here because i don't have a bag like, oh my god we literally got left for a second time it's been so stressful and chaotic this boat ride better be fucking worth it because the shit that has gone on this whole time i'll tell you guys when i'm like back in the hotel but let's relax hopefully we make out the boat right and we can have a good time we're all signing our papers right now so we can go picked up by our tour guide we're walking to our boat we're going myself on this side because the girls didn't want to sit with me just kidding there's no space over there hey <laughs> okay yeah, okay. We can see all the fish right here. They kind of went away a little bit, but when we had first gone, and there were so many under. Look at that. Just made it to the arch. As you guys can see, they're right there. We're taking pictures over here. But it's so cute and so fresh. This whole trip, the whole time, it's been so hot. And I've been sweating the whole time. And this is the first time we're like, I'm relaxed. And it's fresh. I took some pictures. Hopefully, they look good. Guys, we are back in the hotel. I didn't even update when we left or anything because it was chaos. Because we were trying to stay a little bit longer, but there wasn't any shuttles that would bring us later. So we wanted to stick with the most reliable transportation, which is what we left with. So we came back. We went to the room to set some things down. And now we're going to get some, I think, like lunch, late lunch, slash dinner in five, I think, or four. But we found this really cute restaurant that's beachside. And like literally, we are going to be sitting next to the beach, seeing the beach. Yesterday, we had the one across the hotel, but that one it was sunset. And right now, it's like during the day. Time. So we're gonna enjoy that and also hopefully Hi. this food is good. Hey, okay. also the girls just arrived. Hi guys. Hello. Nice. Alright, we ended up coming to a different place and I got a I also ordered tacos. Like I literally ordered one of each taco to see which one was the best one. The other restaurant, as soon as we got there, they had already closed, so we had to come to another one. And this was kind of more like laid back and chill. But we can probably go back to the other one some other time. I really enjoyed the tacos that I got from that place. I'm glad we picked that place. But anyways, we are back in the room now. We changed into bathing suits so we can go out and get in the pool and tan and all that stuff this bikini i got it from shein yeah this one is from shein all the other ones i've been wearing are from 
from Target. But this one, I like it. It's like kind of like a dress, but not really. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I was feeling so bad. So I threw up and I took a shower. Now I have to drink some water, but I swear today has been such a fucking chaotic day. Like for so many reasons. Like starting off with the loud thump in the morning when Ali's laptop fell and then the transportation so you guys didn't even see this in the morning because I wasn't filming because we were literally in such a rush but the transportation we were late to the lobby to get our transportation to the boat ride but we were there like eight minutes late something like that regardless when we get there the other girls were already there and they said they had gotten there like four minutes late so they were like I think they left us like there's nobody here and then they asked somebody there from the lobby like the people in charge of like keeping track of who, what right is there for who like who they're asking for and if those people are already at their lobby or not and then that person basically said nobody oh like he never even came back and so we just there to stand like the masses for like 10 more minutes so total, total it was like 15 minutes late and then the shuttle like the shuttle that was already like parked there started leaving because there was a lot of shuttles and then we we're like wait that's just like Cabo Adventures and that was like the agency we had booked our tour through and so we basically ran towards it and the man was so mad at us the rest of the time and we went over there and we got lost again and then we had a little boat ride and then we weren't able to stay in Cabo San Lucas which is where like the boat ride was at like we're staying in Cabo San Jose and so that's like kind of like the main city like the party city and we wanted to stay there for like a couple hours and then get brought back because that's what the guide or not the guide like the person we got like the agency told us anyways that was a lie we were able to do that so all the girls were like were really upset and so we had to come back and when we got back we were like okay like let's make sure we don't fall asleep so that we can like enjoy the rest of the day and so we got ready to go to the pool and then we realized Natalie's memory card was broken so she lost all her stuff and then that was a bummer for her and me we about to leave and then we went to the pool and so I was kind of already like okay whatever like let's like get a little loose or whatever like i never do this but there's like been so much stress and like the stress has just happened i was like i'm gonna just fucking drink with these bitches like i'm always being the buzzkill i'm not gonna be buzzkill so like i just it like trying to be like them and midway through i started to feel like my head no my tongue was like burning a little bit and I was like, okay, this feels a little bit weird. But I was like, bitch, it's like a half fucking cup. And so I just kept drinking it. And then at some point, like, I got a brain freeze. So I was like, fuck this shit. And I stopped drinking it. But I didn't think it was anything wrong. And then right as soon as I stopped drinking it, my stomach, I started feeling like I had to throw up. And I was like, bitch, what the fuck? We left the freaking pool. We're back. And I threw up. And I feel a little bit better. But, like, my eyes burn really bad from the chlorine, I think. And my stomach still feels wheezy. And we still have to go out to dinner. So cheers to a chaotic ass day but tomorrow we have nothing planned i think we're just gonna literally chill all day probably go to hydrotherapy or something like that i definitely needed some water i'm probably dehydrated as well because i haven't really been drinking much water we're gonna go out for dinner right now i'm literally going to leave with my wet hair this t-shirt and some raggedy ass shorts i got from target and the chanclas is like the same chanclas i've been wearing every single day because i do not feel like doing my makeup my hair or putting on a nice outfit like i'm not feeling it today so we're gonna go out to eat i don't even know where and I'm going straight back, bitch, and falling asleep because today has not been our day, and tomorrow has to be a good day because it's the last one. Like, how are we gonna leave on a bad note? We can't do that. So, let's go to dinner. I'm not gonna film. I'll show you guys what we ate, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, sunshine. Earth says hello. Guys, we woke up on a better note today. We're not running that late to our COVID test, and it's probably gonna be a really chill day today. It's our last full day in Cabo. Not looking forward to the covid test but it's the only way we can go back to the u.s you know hopefully our tests also come back negative otherwise bro we don't know where the testing center is at like literally this whole trip we don't know where anything is at we just kind of like run towards the lobby and hope to the gods we find it somehow and yet again for the covid test that's what's happening today i put on this like sundress it's like really flowy and stuff and underneath i have this like tiger print i don't know it's kind of brown and black bikini and we're probably gonna go to the pool afterwards so let's go get them COVID test we're at the COVID center I mean the testing center we're about to get tested I am shitting my pants <laughs> good job <laughs> breakfast is served although al pastor is not really breakfast but I love my Mexican food and then over there I got some extra stuff Orange juice, yeah. uh, I mean gas. Yeah. Okay, you're coming home with me. All right, we're gonna get finished eating everything up and then go to the pool. We've been in the pool. Bitch! We've been in the 
pool for like an has it been like an hour, Natalie? Yes, no. Wait, you left us for so long. Yeah. Natalie left, sent some clips over to Jacob, and we were here in the pool by ourselves. But um, she's back. Hey, Nat. And the girls are in the restaurant right now. I was taking care of the stuff. The water feels so oh. fresh. All right, I got a clamato preparado. <laughs> what are these girls doing? <laughs> They're fucking tipsy. <laughs> Again. We're waiting for them to get to the same spot. Delicia's getting her hair braided right here. We're like on the beach right now. Earlier we were next to the pool, but we actually came like to the sand and there's an umbrella that's making it perfect because if it was like over there where Brittany and Paulina are at, I would be like literally dying. I hate the sun like that, like I don't like tanning. I also bought a bracelet for Ricardo and I and the man is making it. I'm super excited because we got like, mat well not matching, I got him a blue one and then I got a pink one, but it has like our names on them. We are on the beach. This is the first time on I'm on the beach in Cabo because last time I was here, I was in the La Blanc and they told us we couldn't come to the beach. So it was like, oh, it's not swimmable and all of that stuff. So we never even came to it. We're not swimming, we're just kind of putting our toes in um, and by being it's so beautiful here. Brittany's getting her hair braided. All the girls are gonna get their hair braided. I'm not gonna because uh, I don't really want to. I came back to the room really quick because I needed to take a poopy. And also I got my period and I was like staining the towel on the, what is it called? The chair I was on. So I was like shit. And then thankfully one of the girls had tampons. So I brought it over here, put it on, took shit. And I'm ready to go. I also put reapply the sunscreen, which is why I look super oily. My hair, I feel like I haven't let it air dry like this in such a long time. And it's kind of giving like curly. Like my hair never comes out like this. I don't know what's going on today, but I'm not like hating it, especially with the hat when I have it on top. Just the bottom half comes out and it looks super curly. But we're gonna go horseback riding right now. I've never been horseback riding, and Natalie said it's ass like because of the sun. But right now, I don't feel like it's super, super hot outside. And I have the hat and I put sunscreen on and I have this dress on, so I'm not too exposed. So hopefully it goes well. I think we're also only doing it for like 20 or 30 minutes. I just want to like get the feel of it. Hopefully the horse, I don't know, like doesn't drop me or anything like that, but I'm not gonna take my camera probably just record on my phone and show you guys clips here but yes i'm gonna go horseback riding and probably go out to eat something let's go horseback riding we're horseback riding this is my first time i feel like i'm gonna fall and this horse is One last time, this is the last night. Guys, today is the last night. We're gonna see the sunset. It's kind of like already almost all set, but <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow morning. Honestly, I am really ready to go home. It's been a long like five or six days. Okay, I miss Ricardo and Bailey, but at the same time, I feel like especially today was such a relaxing day because I didn't really film, I didn't really do much. Also, I'm so tan. Like, I am like five shades darker and I'm already dark to begin with, so now I'm like super Super, I have a super super fat tan but tonight dinner is literally up in the air we have no idea what we're gonna eat also my hair is like this because I asked Paulina to put some product on it anyways um yeah Alina's gonna put product in my hair because she says that it's curly and I should just try it out so I'm gonna put product in my hair and also I actually have this is my top that I'm gonna be wearing and then I have like a cover up this shirt's only so I can go do the product thing for my hair but let's go do that right now and see how my hair even dries because she swears I have curly hair but I don't know Oh, who was the one that got scared now, bitch? I did not get what scared. What if I would have gotten kidnapped? I, I, what if I would have gotten kidnapped? <laughs> Let's go. Nat was guilt tripping me because I was going to go to Paulina's room, get my hair done, and she wasn't hurrying up, and look who got pranked now. You thought you would. Hurry I some bad up. Shit. Right here. Hurry up. Okay, I just did my little hair. It doesn't look any different. We'll see when it dries, but I have really damaged hair So like that's why it's gonna be flat if I continue damaging it. I have this top on and be short We're at dinner now. They have like this show and we're eating So cute I'm out here wrapping my with Ricardo's face on it Hello Oh my god, guys, today is day six, I believe, of Cabo. I've been in Cabo for a whole six days. It feels like it was just yesterday that we got here, but also at the same time, like it was a long time ago because I haven't seen Ricardo or my baby Bailey. We're leaving today. Actually, we're about to start packing all of our stuff and not gonna get picked up till 3.45 and our checkout time is at 12. So it means we have to chill in the resort for like three hours. I think I'm gonna just work at that time, but I'm so excited to go back home and see Ricardo 
and my baby and my parents and my siblings and all that stuff. We're gonna start packing. I miss you, baby. I'm coming home to you. But this is what our view has been like for a whole ass week. So beautiful. Actually, the first day we were on the other side of the resort, but we had to start packing everything. I have my suitcase right here, and I pretty much was putting all of my dirty clothes in this compartment. So now I have like all the dirty clothes here. The last day I didn't do it, so I have some things laying around, but mostly everything that's dirty is already in here. So when I get home, I can just throw it in the washing machine. But yeah, I'm gonna start getting everything ready. I'll time lapse it so that it's faster for you guys. But for me, it's gonna be a long process. <laughs> packed everything up it still looks a little bit messy because yeah the room service and the beds aren't made but everything is stacked into this suitcase i had no idea how i was gonna make it fit but i literally just like i was on top of it legit like my whole body on top like it i was able to make it close for the first time and then i realized my curling iron didn't fit in my backpack so i had to open it all up back again fit the curling iron in here and then close it again but i think we're good we're gonna go check out but we're gonna have three hours to still stay in the hotel let's go check out let me take get my bag off <laughs> Let's go. Que tú me tienes temblando de noche y de día. Tú me hiciste brujería. The boys just pulled. 